After five weeks leadership training with the British Army, these junior NCOs prepared to return to Ukraine. This camp in the southwest is where Ukrainian troops are processed during their time in the UK, kitted out with all the essential clothing they'll need to train and fight. At the end of their training, they return here to collect a few more essentials, including a combat first aid kit, before flying home. It's a process the military call the HAP, or Handling and Processing. It's been going on for nearly two years, and in that time, 32,000 Ukrainian soldiers have been through here. So the Handling and Processing facility is the main logistic hub for Operation Interflex, and every day or every other day, we'll process up to 800 Ukrainians within a 24-hour period. So my soldiers will pick them up from the airhead, bring them back to this facility, we'll feed and accommodate them overnight, and then the following day, we'll give them a full black bag kit issue. So that's 65 to 70 items, everything that a soldier would need to do week one, day one of basic training. Oh, they're immensely grateful. I mean, the kit that we give them is first class kit, um, battle winning, uh, it'll protect them if they're in a firefight, uh, really good quality kit. So yeah, they're extraordinarily grateful. This is a tri-service operation with dozens of Army, RAF and Royal Navy personnel working shoulder to shoulder. It's overseen by 156 Regiment Royal Logistic Corps, a reserve supply regiment based in the northwest. In these warehouses they stock up to three and a half million items of kit, handing out 13,000 of them to every Ukrainian course that comes through. I work for tool stations as a supervisor during my day job, mobilised here until at least March, and I've been in the reserves for 36 years. Man and boy, okay. you see 200 people coming through and then you think tomorrow these guys are going to be facing the battle, so to speak, then you think, so, mm, yeah, that's when it kind of hits a little bit, yeah. A lot of them come through and, you know, they, could, they couldn't be nicer. They're ever so polite. I don't even think they could put into words how grateful they are of the work that we're doing helping them. Um, Sounds like you've got a lot of admiration for them. 100%, 100%, yeah. They're very brave, very brave. In the camp cookhouse, the HAP organised a festive send-off. British military chefs producing hundreds of traditional Ukrainian meals. Here too, a choir made up of Ukrainians now living in this part of the country. This is the first time Ukraine has celebrated Christmas Day on December the 25th, after President Zelensky signed a new law abandoning the Russian Orthodox date of December 7th in favour of the Western calendar. Performing the blessing were priests from the Ukrainian Cathedral in London. Most of these men have already seen months of frontline combat and lost countless comrades. At just 23, Dimitro has already served for four years, fighting in the Donbass and along the Eastern Front. He took part in the liberation of Kharkiv region and town. During the uh, counter-offensive uh, actions, he got the second injury and he successfully destroyed two tanks thanks to British in-law. In-law missiles. In-law missile, yeah. Maxim, a former policeman, fought the Russians in Bakhmut. Um, yeah, he's obviously very grateful to British, British uh, for all the help that's been. It, uh, you know, it sort of helps keep up morale, knowing that there is someone there supporting you. And it's obviously very good for the new recruits to understand what it's like to be in the military and to gain that uh, experience. However, the practice then comes when they're on the front lines in Ukraine. From here, these soldiers are bussed to an airhead somewhere in the UK and flown to Poland. Within days, they'll be back in Ukraine with their units, putting their training and British supplied kit to good use as they prepare for a second Christmas at war. Simon Newton, Forces News, South West England. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.